This weekend, the CDC announced there have been about four times as many of cases of whooping cough in the U.S. compared to last year, but now the outbreak has made its way to Spokane County. We've been tracking outbreaks in multiple places, including North Idaho and Whitman County, where there have been 10 new cases just reported within the WSU community. Crime 2's Christian Garza spoke with public health experts in Spokane and North Idaho to see where we stand locally. Whooping cough, otherwise known as pertussis, is not just surging here in our area, but across the country as a whole. That's why Spokane Regional Health District is doing everything they can to make sure that the community is educated to prevent more people from getting sick. You, you hear and see someone who is just gasping for air. You know, they can't breathe. You know, it's a very scary thing for a, a parent. Pertussis, otherwise known as whooping cough, is surging in eastern Washington and northern Idaho. According to stats from the CDC, as of October 12th, there were 902 reported cases in Washington state alone, which is a drastic difference from the 44 cases that were reported at this time in 2023. Idaho also saw a big spike this year with 408 cases compared to the 15 cases previously reported. This is really unusual. Spokane Regional Health District epidemiologist Mark Springer says that cases across the region started back in the spring and they've continued to grow over the last few months. Our cases of pertussis over the last, you know, I would say three or four years have probably been under 10. As of October 16th, the Spokane Regional Health District has seen 84 cases of pertussis currently, with 17 of those just being in October alone. A communication manager for the Panhandle Health District says as of October 16th, the Panhandle has 245 cases of pertussis, which is close to 90 new cases since August. The CDC says if you end up getting whooping cough as an adult, it shows up as a mild cough, a fever and a runny or stuffy nose for about a week or two. But the disease can be worse for younger children, leading to coughing fits that can result in vomiting. For babies a year or younger and those over the age of 65, whooping cough can lead to hospitalization or even death from not being able to breathe properly. The nice thing that we've seen uh, recently is there's a lot of awareness around pertussis. We're not seeing that delay in, in diagnosis and we're seeing providers really cue into that. Now that we know pertussis is surging here in the area, the question now becomes how is the health district and the school district making sure that students are safe? Spokane Public School spokesperson Ryan Lancaster says that as of right now, the district isn't seeing an alarming rate of whooping cough cases or absences, but they always work with the health district to make sure every student is as safe as they can be. We do a lot of work with uh, school districts across the county to support, you know, school districts in terms of getting uh, their immunization rates uh, up. Now, Whitman County did send out a press release saying that there are 28 confirmed cases in that area. Springer says that the best way to protect you and your kids are through preventative antibiotics as well as getting vaccinated. Christian Garza, Creme 2 News.